Hello and good morning everyone. My name is Gavin McIntyre and I'm the co-founder and chief commercial officer at Ecovative, the mycelium technology company. At Ecovative, we grow materials that are entirely plastic free and in fact, circular by nature. That means that these materials are derived from natural cycles and that at the end of their useful life cycle, they passively return to the earth to sustain those very same cycles. And at Ecovative, we work and harness nature by using the power of mycelium. And for those of you who are not familiar, mycelium is the vegetative or root-like structure of mushrooms. These are incredibly versatile materials that are rapidly renewable as they grow in just a matter of days. If you take a look at the biochemical backbone of mycelium, what you'll discover is made out of the same materials that lobster and crab shells are made out of, chitin. And so it's naturally robust, tenacious, and water resistant. Mycelium grows as interlocked fibrils, creating a non-woven structure that in nature is responsible for binding the forest floor together while transporting information and nutrition to other microflora and fauna. Our team at Forager is specifically focused on directing the growth of mycelium so that we can create customizable, high quality, non-woven materials for both fashion and footwear. If you look across the vast kingdoms of life, it's very apparent and easy to see that filamentous fungi are uniquely fit for fabrication. If we take a look at single-celled organisms like bacteria and yeast, what you'll discover is they're really adept at producing small molecules or precision proteins. But what they're not capable of doing is assembling those molecules into the macroscopic fibers and materials that we can use immediately as humans. And therefore, they can be reliant upon high embodied energy processes and chemically arduous technology in order to make articles. If we look up the complexity of life to animals, we have for generations have been transforming animal skins into high performing durable materials like leather. But similar to the animal itself, the animal's skin is always in the shape of an animal and is therefore prone to creating a tremendous amount of waste. At Ecovative, over the last decade and a half, we've focused on growing a wide range of materials using mycelium for a variety of industries. Growing materials into custom geometries all the way through to large slabs that are greater than a meter and a half in width and tens of meters in length, both reducing waste as well as the embodied energy required to create these unique structures. Ecovative's mission has always been to improve the environmental profiles of a variety of industries. And we seek to do this by providing truly circular materials that do not compromise on performance and then of course, automatically fit into nature's cycles. If you look at the role of mushrooms in nature, what you'll discover is that they're the recycling system. They take the leaf litter and coarse woody debris that's produced by nature every year and grow the mushrooms you may see growing along the forest floor or out of the side of a tree. Our processes at Ecovative are quite similar. Today, we've assessed over 700 different types of biomass that come from agriculture, forestry, and even industry-inclusive textiles to serve as the sole energy source for growing our mycelium. Because we can tap into a diverse range of different raw materials, our raw materials typically come from only 200 kilometers from our vertical farms. By introducing just a small amount of mycelium into agricultural residue and by using our vertical farms that we've developed over the years, we can grow consistent high quality materials day in and day out, which once they're harvested, they're ready to go directly into an article. At the end of that article's life, we've tested and demonstrated that our materials can passively return to the earth and can be actively composted in just 28 days. We've taken this a step forward to demonstrate that that compost can also be used to propagate and generate the next cycle of plants, growing everything from cucumbers to corn to not only feed our growing population, but also to feed the next generation of mycelium. So now, over the last couple of years, we've focused on constructing the largest mycelium raw materials as well as production facility in North America. 
This has been part of our overall move and trend toward vertical integration. This is critically important, not only because it enables us to keep our costs low, but it also garners greater control over the quality of our products and offers full transparency into the supply chain of our forager foams and hides. By carefully selecting both the mushroom strains that we work with and simulating environments similar to what you might see along the forest floor, we guide the growth of mycelium to maximize its potential and properties at a variety of scales. Our latest technology has been our air mycelium platform, which produces pure, pillow-looking slabs of pure mycelium that can then be processed directly into elastomeric foams and, of course, beautiful textiles. This past year, Ecovative has made strides to bring this technology really to an unprecedented level of scale. And like any technology, scale is fundamental to our mission to displace the environmentally consequential fossil fuels and forever chemicals that are profuse within our materials today. In just last year, Ecovative has commissioned over 11,000 square meters of space that's dedicated to our raw material production and the growth and cultivation of our mycelium materials. Furthermore, as of December, we are no longer just constrained to the United States because we took the strategic move to acquire a state-of-the-art facility in the Netherlands for the production of our raw materials to produce high-quality growth media for cultivating a range of mycelium materials that can go both to our own operations as well as to our contract growers and licensees. These materials are then in turn delivered to the premier tanneries of Echo Leather, which is also located in the Netherlands. And through these channels, we're building an industrial ecosystem where we can source our raw materials, grow mycelium, and transform them into beautiful textiles within a less than a 200 kilometer radius really reducing the embodied energy and impact to produce these beautiful products. We really see a tremendous market opportunity in Europe, and we are focused on greater vertical integration, once again, to ensure that we can obtain the utmost quality while having the least impact on our planet. This supply chain will really support all of our aerial mycelium operations. And of course, in the fashion and apparel industry, we are currently focused on the plastic heavy and resource intensive materials, uh, such as technical foams and textiles. The materials that we generate are completely plastic free and require a mere fraction of the energy that goes into an equivalent amount of plastic, like polypropylene. But we also have to make it a top priority that these materials are taken up directly by existing supply chains because we do not expect that large, complex, and well-established industries are going to quickly pivot to new materials. And that's why we are meeting them exactly where they are to offer a superior alternative to the traditional categories that make mycelium a very obvious choice. One of the biggest challenges for any new material, of course, is identifying a product market fit. And for air mycelium, we've been able to demonstrate that our infrastructure and farms can reproducibly produce high quality mycelium in our first product category, which is actually food. So if you live in the American Northeast, our products have been delighting vegans to omnivores alike with our delicious and nutritious my bacon, which I hopefully will be coming to Europe in the next couple of years. We're using the same underlying infrastructure to produce our forager products. But of course, fashion presents some of its own unique challenges. And so developing a novel material that not only plays nice with existing supply chains, but also finds applications in apparel requires direct collaborations with brands and product designers. We at Ecovative have been working with mycelium for well over 15 years. And so we know mycelium clearly better than most, but our partners know what their products and their customers' expectations are. And so that's why we entered into a partnership with Echo Leather, a network of international tanneries that are designed forward and well-recognized in the field as both leaders in sustainability and innovation. This is helping us to not only perfect our materials with some of the global experts, but it also demonstrates that traditional industries are ready and able to use the new materials that we provide. 
We have been developing these materials in accordance with international standards just to ensure that our partners can develop shelf-ready products. However, our partners today also play a critical role in the development of these materials themselves. They give us critical feedback as to their performance needs, aesthetics, and other product qualities. And the job of our mycelium foundry is to take these results and transform them into a next generation material. Even though mycelium is a living material, we can't just simply ask it to have greater insulating characteristics or a particular type of drape. And so we have to iterate to find the right combination of mushroom strains and growing environments in order to produce a desired result that will effectively scale. That's the only way to get enough products out into the world to have the dramatic impact that we're looking for. The Ecovative Foundry is a first of a kind and best in class research tool for developing new mycelium materials. It allows us to take different mushroom strains and test different conditions and other variables all at once towards a specific aim. After getting initial material samples and feedback from our partners to what performance markers they are looking for in the next batch, their feedback goes to our scientists in upstate New York, where they use what we call benchtop bioreactors, which is a, bunch, a series of little boxes, like what you can see in the image over here, that are highly instrumented with sensors that allow us to both monitor and regulate the growth of the mycelium. This allows us to test many different variables all at once and to iterate quickly doing high throughput research towards a very specific end result. The foundry is also an incredibly important tool for how we achieve scale. For as our materials move from bench to pilot and then ultimately to full production scale, we can identify and assess bottlenecks early on and quickly address those. In a way, this allows us to substantially de-risk the commercial scale of our products early and to move these things into high quality production. That's obviously important to our brand partners in terms of consistency and quality of supply, but also for those who will be growing our Forager family products in the future. Today, Ecovative produces our aerial mycelium and Forager products in the United States. But our vision is to enable others, and particularly mushroom farms, to grow a wide range of air mycelium products in large enough volumes so that these can be distributed around the world and have a meaningful impact. We call this today our picks and shovels technique, and it ultimately provides the tools to grow these materials consistently and continuously, day in and day out, leveraging our research and technology. Because over the last 15 years, we've developed a lot of infrastructure and technology, but we truly see that collaboration is the key element for perfecting the next generation of mycelium. We're positioned to scale up our production immensely in the coming years, and soon, Forager products will be available to a general audience. The more we supply our products to product designers and brands, the more we have an opportunity to offset the negative consequences of plastic pollution and unsustainable practices that are ultimately incompatible with our planet. In the forest, mycelium really weaves through the landscape and forges new connections. It takes the old and transforms it into the new. And in a similar vein, we see our mycelium materials doing the same. We're aiming to work with the world as it is to help us bring together a brighter tomorrow. And so now I'd love to take you on a virtual tour of one of our new farms to show you how we're steadily transforming our vision into a reality. And so this is our farm in upstate New York. It's about 88,000 square meters. We have a number of vertical farming rooms that allow us to consistently harvest product each and every week. Each one of these individual beds is over a meter and a half in width and 30 meters in overall length. And at the point of harvest, that material is either ready to dry to transform it into a high performance foam or to be transported to the tannery in order to dye and finish into a high performing textile. And so today, I hope that you will join us on this mission and journey and come feel and see our materials. And we're just down the way here at booth 4C82. So come check it out. 
give our mycelium materials a squeeze and a pull, and we'll look forward to seeing you then. Thank you.